Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Steve Bowley, County Ride Share, the rookie. All right, guys, yeah. Title shows lift the activation. You know, I deactivated myself from lift. <laughs> a little bit of clickbait there, sorry, guys. No, so honestly, it's been a decision that I've been thinking about for a while. Um, you know, I actually actually been thinking about it. I did it once already, you know, but I went in there and I fully deleted my app and everything. Um, I actually deleted, deactivated, I called Lyft, been like, or hit him up on Twitter, said I need you, you know, just get rid of my account. Then I got it back. Um, I just don't have a lot of faith in Lyft anymore. Um, and not, I'm not basing this decision on what happened the other night with that crazy ass ride. I'm basing it on many factors, you know. You know, Lyft is shady as hell. Hiding, hiding the breakdown of the trip what the rider pays, stuff like that, you know, it's just too shady for me, um, I just don't have a lot of confidence in that company anymore, um, you know, you see some of these trips, these available pickups and stuff, um, you know, you're going, like, from my house to the airport, earn, like, there was a trip the other morning, $22, I make, like, $34 from my house to the airport on Uber. So, although the rate card says you're making 53 cents a mile, are you really making 53 cents a mile? You know what I'm saying? Just got an Uber. Um, but, it's terrible weather too, by the way. Um, but yeah, that's the thing, guys. It's, you know, I just, I don't, I don't have confidence and I don't want to support a company that's going to be shady to their drivers. You know what I'm saying? I think it's bullshit. And uh, so, I deleted both lift apps this morning. Um, I'm just not doing it. You know, I'll just drive Uber. I mean, this is my part-time income anyway. It's not full-time. I mean, I've done over 1,200, almost 1,250 Uber rides since February. I haven't even been driving a year yet. Um, and then I've done like 46 lifetime lift trips, right? So is it worth it, guys? I don't think so. So I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, one last thing I want to talk about really quick about five minutes away from my rider is uh, Orlando drivers mostly. I don't know how it is in your markets, um, but this is mostly for drivers that might not be seasoned real well, may not know how things work. Um, if you have a destination set, like let's say you get an airport ride, okay? This is mostly for airport. So if you get an airport ride at three o'clock, but you already had a destination set to be at your home by five, right? When you get in the queue, it's gonna put you at whatever the number is at the queue. If you wait to remove that destination, like let's say you want to take a rematch out of there, or a ride out of there, I shouldn't say rematch, but let's say you want to take a ride out of there, um, and you go remove that destination after you dropped your rider off, it's gonna throw you to the bottom of the queue. So just wanna make sure you guys know about that. Um, I found out the hard way a long time ago, but it's something I forgot to mention in one of my videos. Um, and then the other thing is here in Orlando, you used to be able to decline two uh, Uber rides and then you had to take the third. Now it's changed where you can decline one and then you got to take the second one. So if you get a ride, let's say if you have trip duration, let's say you get a ride and it's 15 minutes west. You're like, nah, I want a better one. Um, and your next one comes in and it's eight minutes, which that should hold your place in queue. At least it does here. But you guys see what I'm saying? You got to take that second one. Because if you decline it, it's going to ask you, hey, are you still online? You're going to hit yes. It's going to bump you down to the bottom of the queue. If the queue's not busy, if it's not a lot of drivers, which is very unusual, especially for this market, then, yeah, you know, you might be able to do that. You're just going to have to wait a little bit longer. But, you know, just a little bit tip out there for you guys that might be new, might be coming on, might not know. Um, I know there's a couple of subscribers of mine, one that used my referral code. Um, for Uber, I got zero dollars. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's all I got for this one, guys. As always, check the description below for more help and useful information. Keep doing your thing. Be safe. Be smart. Don't be stupid. Please make sure you get your advice from real drivers. Until uh, real drivers like me uh, make mistakes, I had to do that. And you know who I'm doing that for. <laughs> but no, nah, that's all good. So all right, guys. Until next time, keep Uber and lifting, gigging on. Well, if you want. And make that money. Peace.